The power of identifying and changing your perceptions. Welcome to Be Fab, Be You Made Simple, your daily dose of inspiration designed to help you reinvent yourself by optimizing your body and mind. I am Maria Horseman, a health editor and coach, a fitness trainer, a speaker, and an entrepreneur founder of BeFabBeYou.com. Our episodes are short and will bring you valuable content and practical nuggets for optimal health and fitness that you can implement ASAP. Let's get you to feel fabulous every day. Are you ready? Check out the show notes to one, schedule a free call with me to discuss a plan to take your health to the next level. Two, submit a question to be featured in our Ask Me Anything episodes on Sundays. Connect with me on social media and much more. Hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you hear, share with your friends and leave it a rating. identifying and changing your perceptions. Welcome back, my friend, to the Be Fab, Be You Made Simple podcast. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. And also thanks for taking a minute to leave us a rating and for sharing these messages with your network. I'm looking to empower more people, more awesome people just like you, bring them some healing and self-care. So, in today's episode, I am continuing the conversation about EVOX in self-development. If this is your first time listening to the show, I encourage you to listen to episode 35. So, this will make more sense and add more value to you. So, let me wrap up the conversation about my second round of EVOX. This time, I did a total of five sessions. And by the way, Evox uses the voice as the indicator of perception. During an Evox session, the computer will record and track subtle energetic qualities in your voice. This information is used as part of a process called perception reframing. Isn't that cool? It is so awesome. So the reason I'm sharing my very personal stories and experience are for a few reasons. To reinforce the idea that our childhood experiences do have a great impact on our lives and our health, and it might take decades to get expressed. Ignoring or suppressing them bring us no healing. Oftentimes we think that, oh, this is nonsense, I healed from that, I got over that, but have we really? So the emotions like self-blame, guilt, anger, unworthiness, overwhelm, even freaking rigid beliefs, and many others, they have the power to keep us stuck and sick. Releasing them have the ability to transform us from the deep to the out, deep healing. Also, I'm also doing this because I want to inspire you to look at what's been placed under that rug for the past maybe years or decades. It is easy for us to shovel the dirt under the rug, right? And move on with our lives. That is how we're thought. Move on. Don't deal with it. Or we don't think that it's important to deal with this psychological stuff out there. I want to encourage you to be relentless and do not give up on learning and growing yourself. Lastly, I, you know, I I want to encourage you to do the work to unveil and remove this debris out of your way. You deserve to feel fabulous in your own skin, feel in control of your destiny and lead a fulfilling life. And that's my friend is what I want for you. And that's my job as a coach and trainer. So a few months ago, I figured it was time to examine the reasons I get so overwhelmed and much easier than those stressful days working in corporate. And I couldn't figure out this sense of overwhelm has caused me to leave many projects unfinished. I wonder Just wonder how much of this subconscious negative energy is rumbling around, 
questions like, oh, or thoughts like you're not good enough, or maybe you don't have what it takes to pull this off, or who would care for it, or how about you do all this work and be so stressed out building something and nobody and you don't get the results you want. Gosh, there's so many questions, so many things going on in the brain that brings all this, you know, discomfort. And the key reason for me going after this to resolve this, you know, issues or answer, get answers to my questions is because I do not want to leave this world with a list of unfinished dreams or projects, projects that I could either, you know, that either I didn't start or I started and didn't finish. And I don't want to miss out on a implementing great ideas. I don't want to let inspiring moments go because of this freaky stuff going on. The thing is, I get very, very upset and disappointed in myself. And that is a feeling that I don't like. I'm sure you don't either. I don't need anybody to tell me anything. I know it. And uh, I am an idea generator type of person in putting the check mark of completed kaching even if I did not that get if I didn't get the results I wanted the whole process of okay I started I implement it and I finish that whole thing excites me that's okay I can always learn from something that didn't you know, go as far as I want or I didn't get the results I wanted. But the deal is not putting the check mark next to these thoughts, ideas, and projects. That ruins me. That it really hurts my soul. And that's why I said enough is enough. I need to figure this out. I felt like there was something blocking me inside. There's like really big blocks, you know, on my way. Somehow, I have been allowing an invisible, creepy monster take the driver's seat of certain parts of my life. No freaking way. Enough of this. I needed to figure out what was going on and get this stuff out of my way. I don't deserve to feel like that. Nobody does. And uh, if this is speaking to you, there is a reason. You might have gone far enough feeling very similarly to me. Look, last episode, I mentioned that during my first session or sessions of Evox, uh, we identified a great deal of subconscious anger inside. And it took me some hard work, (laughs) a lot of emotional up and down stuff going on uh, to shift my perception and move on. And that has really changed my life. Needless to say, you know, five and a half years later, here I am, uh, or was, you know, a few weeks ago or a couple, two, three months ago, I was really curious to see whether any of this anger that I had dealt with had returned. I didn't think so, but a lot has gone that happened since then. So, all right. So, the practitioner and I agreed that based on my history, and what was going on now, what was coming up now, my emotions, and so on, uh, it was a good idea to revisit my perceptions related to my father and mother. So that's where, you know, we kind of started. And um, so I was very pleased to see and tell you that the anger didn't show up on my father's side at all. However, it seems like I had some lingering things happening towards my mom. And, uh, but really, what was really telling for me was the top imbalances that popped up after I combined, you know, all these rounds of sessions uh, for each one of them. It was much bigger than this anger that was still happening towards my mom. So, which, by the way, I was able to release part of it. Um, so I'm going to share the highlights uh, for percept for for your per, you know for your education and uh, so for your perspective as well. God knows um, something may speak up to you 
lead you to have an honest chat with yourself and maybe lead you to take uh, you know additional steps to resolve them as well that's really you know would be an amazing thing for you to do just like i'm doing so when i combine the data of emotions that went through <laughs> uh from the starting point of each session to the releasing point for mom and dad the top 3 that came up were really on something else first suppressed emotional expression versus appropriate self-expression a second close was fearful and overwhelmed versus accountability third was unacknowledged versus (laughs) self-validation without releasing what exactly applies to me the most out of all these descriptions that i'm going to share i am going to share you know, parts of this, um, uh, I guess, you know, descriptions, uh, what make each one of these uh, perceptions unique for you to use for self-reflection. Okay, so you ready? All right, first, suppressed emotional expression versus versus appropriate self-expression. Fear of confrontation and an unwillingness to express emotions which may lead to rejection rob the individual's self-protection. This vulnerability may lead to anger, which is designed to empower self-defense, though the anger may also be suppressed. These suppressions lead to frustration, general apprehension, anxiety, discouragement, stubbornness, lack of self-approval, vulnerability, a tendency to fix others, (laughs) and external situations in an effort to find satisfaction. Betrayal, abuse, mistreatment in circumstances where self-defense wasn't possible or permissible, such as, you know, as defaults or shortcomings of a parent, may worsen the condition and make forgiveness and letting go difficult. Stress associated with frustration and apprehension may create problems with the liver, gallbladder, gas, skin, cancer, stroke, neck and shoulder tension, migraine, headaches, and more. Wow. (laughs) Number two, fearful and overwhelmed versus accountability. When life's demands feel overwhelming, one's capacity for joy and pleasure may be inhibited. This can lead to overworking or taking life too seriously in an effort to get ahead and break free from these stressful external situations. The individual may be impatient, have a diminished sense of humor, and feel anger from others or from within. Fear frequently accompanies feelings of overwhelm. Fear and overwhelm may result from feeling always observed and judged and pressure to grow up and be responsible before developing the necessary skills and maturity in life, enduring a harsh upbringing such as frequent punishment may elicit feelings of guilt and further inhibit the capacity to feel joy and pleasure. Fear and overwhelm may affect the stomach, and the lower digestive tract, blood sugar issues, tense muscles, and more. (laughs) You might be like, holy smokes, right? So third over here for your friend Maria, unacknowledged versus self-validation. The unacknowledged individual may experience defensive thoughts due to a heightened and projected Awareness of others' perceptions and judgments. The individual's projects, projects, you know, thoughts out and uh, imagines reading them from others. 
which make these ideas much more difficult to uproot. An acknowledgement often appears as low self-esteem, with a lack of self-awareness, leaving the individual unable to recognize and value worthy talents and attributes. Even individuals with otherwise healthy self-esteem can experience unacknowledgement issues. Such perceptions commonly originate as a young child learns to cooperate with the reward and punishment model or as a shield against the perceived risk of standing up for one's own beliefs, desires, or opinions, such as when dealing with a strong authority figure or bully. Other causes include abusive circumstances, internalizing others' judgments, and harsh self-judgment, which makes self-recognition intolerable. Possible physical manifestations are in the areas of the eyes, such as weak vision and hypersensitivity to light. Wow, 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 right? Luckily, you know, when I did the sessions, I was able to release this, but I truly believe that we got to continue the work on this stuff. They're potentially triggers, and I'm continuing my work on this because recently I got really upset and angry, and I realized the triggers. So I'm going to go back to this and relate especially to anger to deal with this stuff. Now, I can only speak for myself here. This stuff really makes sense to me, and I'm so committed to getting to the bottom of this stuff. I am very committed to self-healing. And I love the sense of empowerment that this type of personal project brings into my life. And I'm committed to help you to do the same. Either whether we work together or you listen to this and you find some light. And if, hey, I mean, if you're ready for a call with me, do it. Go to befabu.com. I would love to chat with you. I'm no therapist, but I can help you in many other aspects and give you some insights about this too. I don't believe in coincidence. And if you are listening to this, there is a reason. Take inventory. Take action. Don't let this go. Go back, rewind, and listen to this again if you have to. Or have to, no. Feel like it. Because I know I kind of spoke a little fast about it. Next episode, I will bring ACES, A-C-E, to this convo. ACE stands for Adverse childhood experiences. And if you find this content interesting, you will want to listen to the next episode. Thanks for listening. Sending you kisses, hugs, and love. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the BFAB BU Made Simple podcast. Can you do me a favor? If you enjoyed this episode, share it with a friend and leave it a rating. It helps the podcast and I really appreciate it. If you're wondering where to start, head over to my website linked in the show notes to sign up to receive encouragement, tips, and strategies to maximize results. While you're there, download a free health guide to get you started today. If you're looking for a coach and trainer to help you optimize your weight, body, and health, get on my calendar. Let's discuss your goals, establish a custom plan, implement it, and celebrate your results. Together, we can do this. Find the link to schedule a free energy audit strategy session also in the show notes. Connect with me on social media. I would love, love, love for you to let me know that you're listening to the show. Also see the show notes for the links. In addition to a qualified healthcare practitioner, it's important that you have someone in your corner who is in for you and will help you to plan and stay on track implementing your goals. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll this boat. I will see you on the next episode of BFAB BU Made Simple. Just a reminder that this podcast is for educational purposes only. This podcast is not a substitute for health care by a doctor or other qualified medical professionals. 
This podcast is provided on the understanding that it does not constitute medical or other professional advice or services. Thank you.